What is going on, Melissa? This is Darius from Auto Fair Nissan here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at this 2015 Nissan Pathfinder S. Let's check it out. Under the hood, we're going to have a three and a half liter V6 engine made with a CVT transmission and four wheel drive drivetrain. We've got 18 inch alloy wheels with Goodyear all season tires with plenty of tread life on them. We've got a second row bench that sits three. As you can see there, your seats can slide up on these little rails. So you can adjust that leg room for the second and third row and kind of split that up if you're using the third row. If not, throw them all the way back like this one right here is to give yourself max leg room for the second row. You've also got second row um, adjustable climate controls here that you can adjust from the second row or from the front. Um, so that's going to give you a total of three climate zones. Now for putting your seats down here, you can use this to give yourself some extra storage. You can see there the back third row, that half is down, this half is still up. So you've got your uh, leg room in there. I'm just gonna lift this back up and show you the rear entry mode. In order to gain access to the third row, what you'll do is on the side of the seat, you've got this little lever. We're gonna pull this lever up, the seat's gonna tilt, and the front is gonna allow you to slide and give you access to the back right there. And then once that's all positioned, you can move that, drop that down, and then, like I mentioned, this does slide, so we can adjust that again. And looking in the trunk here, you can see the space that you get with the third row up and the third row down. So with the third row up for use, you get this space right here. But if you put it down, you get a ton of extra room. To put these seats down, it's super easy. Just give that a pull and drop that down. And then you can push up right on here. And it just drops right down forward. Underneath here, you're going to have some extra space as well that you can put some items in and close that right back up, nice and easy. And then this just closes down, manual, very straightforward. Taking a look here in the driver's seat, you do have manual height adjustment using this lever right there. You can actually make the seat sit up higher or lower uh, depending on what your needs are. Also down here on this panel, we're gonna have our traction control, but also our tow mode. So when properly equipped, the Pathfinder can pull up to 6,000 pounds. So plenty of towing capability to take a camper, trailer, etc. Uh, along for the ride with the whole family. Let's hop in. From the driver's perspective here on the steering wheel, we're gonna have our cruise control adjustments right there. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna have our volume control for, for our music, our sources, and then we can change our music using this right here. And this button up top is gonna change through your drive assist display here. And you got your fuel economy information, four wheel drive, any warnings, um, and then all your settings and then right back to the home screen. Under 100,000 miles on this one too, which is not bad at all for the year. Moving over towards the middle here, we're gonna have our screen. We got our climate control readout on here, dual zone up front, and then that extra zone in the back if you wanna control the rear right from up here. So with this we can make completely separate from the driver, and then we just have shared fan speed up here. All your modes are gonna be around those buttons as well. Move down a little bit, you're gonna have all your controls for your music and your radio. You have CD player in here, uh, and then you've got auxiliary you can plug in there as well. Uh, but nice, easy controls, just, just button controls, so easy to do while you're driving and you know, you've got some tactile response there. Shifter down here, nice and easy. Got a little button on the front, got your overdrive off switch on there as well. And throw it back into drive or excuse me into park and then if we look down a little bit more we've got our selector for two-wheel drive auto and then we can lock it for four-wheel drive and that'll display up here let me zoom you in a little bit as i cycle through those things you've got two-wheel auto and then your four-wheel drive lock and you can switch those back and forth so nice and easy to do you can do that while you're going down the road if you want to switch from front wheel only to uh all-wheel drive uh, ideal for winter, just throw it right in that all-wheel and let the car kind of do its own thing. Uh, if there's anything you were hoping to see in this video that I may not have covered, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I'll also put some information in the description so you can reach out to us if you have any other questions or if you want to schedule a time to see the car. We are located at 45 Portsmouth Avenue, so come on down. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching.